Good afternoon to you. I uh, hope you're all well. This is a little short little video here from Disgraceland and it's one um, that I don't normally uh, do anything on guitar repairs because I'm not really someone who um, does a lot of guitar repairs because I'm ham-fisted. I have no patience, terrible vision, shaky digits and uh, really am absolutely useless at it. But occasionally I surprise even myself but this is one of those days. So um, you might remember on a couple of videos back, those of you who don't, you won't remember anything. Um, <laughs> It's amazing, I can. Uh, I was talking about this little guitar, which is a student's guitar. Uh, just a little encore um, Les Paul style thing. Really cheap little thing with a bolt on neck and that. And one of the problems a lot of these guitars have, as you can see this, this humbuck has turned inside out, and one of the problems a lot of these cheaper guitars have is the little metal flanges here on the pickup adjuster thing. They're, they're really crappy metal, you know, they have to save money on these things somehow, so they use really cheap metal, which means you have a screw going through there with a spring, as you can see here, and the thread on this just goes, and quite often I've had a few of these where you just can't then adjust the pickup, and it just pops out because the hole in here ends up too big. Alright, so I asked a bunch of you good people here on YouTube for some suggestions of the easiest and cheapest and most painless way to sort it out. I had some really nice uh, suggestions so thank you very much to everybody who did uh, suggest stuff and I've tried a couple of those out. Um, I tried out um, wrapping tape around the screw and I did that and as soon as the spring tension got too much it just pfft, popped the tape off and everything just went pfft, again like that. Didn't do the noise, that's me. Um, Randy Scheiger suggested filling this, the hole in the in, in the flange here with super glue or CA glue and I did that, let it overnight, let it settle overnight, put the screw in the next day and it just pinged it off again. I tried a whole bunch of things and nothing was working. So, um, and again, thanks to those, Pete I know, um, suggested or even offered to, I would send the pick up to him and he'd actually sort it out and give me a new, put some new surrounds on it, which is really, really kind of him. But this is one of those really infuriating problems. I've had it on other guitars before and it's a nightmare. So I think I've come up with a way, which is sort of reversible, uh, 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 to fix it. And this is what I've done. So I'll just turn it around here. And again, this is all oh shit. It's only a really cheap guitar. It's even cheaper now, I just did that. And it's literally just bashed on a, on a tiny little plastic bottle, that's all right. Um, and I think it's gonna be sold anyway. So what I've done, and I hope you can see this, it's not gonna be the most clear thing, but I'll try and point it out. What I did first of all is I got the spring, all right? And I'll, I'll show you with another spring here, hang on. Uh, I didn't wanna cut the spring down, really. So what I did is I got the spring, See, I've got a couple here from another one I like to do. And I just basically compressed the spring, so there's it full height, and I just compressed it to about where I thought it would be reasonable, and then got uh, some of this stuff, which is this gold sort of wire, which is actually, when I was drinking pork last Christmas, it's the gold foily wire they put around the cork to make it look really flash, and I've been saving that for a special occasion, and I found it. So what I've done is I compressed the spring, all right, and it's not the easiest thing in the world to do because these, you know, all they want to do is leap around and jump about. So I compressed the spring and then I threaded a piece of this through either end of the spring and just tightened it and tightened it until the spring was compressed. It makes the spring bend like a banana, but it doesn't matter because we're going to whop a screw through there and keep it straight. Okay, so that's, that's the first thing. So you can see here, hopefully, um, I don't even know if you'll be able to and I apologise, it's pretty shitey, but I can't get much closer than that. Um, so the spring is compressed and then I basically run a piece of this through both ends of it, kept the spring compressed and then just really twisted it, tightened it up, loaded it with glue, twisted it a bit more, put some tape on it, some more glue, blah, 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 and that will hold. If any time you want to uncompress the spring, we just get in there with a wire cut up ping, snip this and away we go. So now that's taken a lot of the pressure. Um, so any you know, any grippage, is that a word, grippage? Good word. Any Any... Any grippage that the screw has in that thread isn't suddenly just going to be forced open by this ludicrous big spring. So that's what I did first of all. Um, as I say, the spring comes out bent like that, so you just thread it through and you know you put the screw through and straighten it. I've got the screw back through the, the flange again, and then I've got a bit more of this wire, and I've wrapped it around where the screw comes out. All right, at the top here. Now, obviously, this is not adjustable anymore. You cannot adjust the pickup height on this side. So what I've done is I've sort of matched how much the screw is coming out here to the other side. So that's what I've done is I've then wrapped this around the top of the screw as you can see here, I hope. 
Yeah, so there hopefully you can see, you can see the bit of wire that's got a bit of tape on it there. That's just a bit of gold wire compressing the spring. Pushed it all through, got it to a reasonable thing, held it in place and then wrapped a piece of wire around the top of the screw and then covered that in super glue. So that's acting sort of as a nut, except it's non-adjustable. And then we just got this bit, which is just doing that really. Nice shiny thing for us to look at. So that is the quick fix what I've done on it. All right, I quite like that wobbly thing on there. I should put, I should put a sparkly ball on there or something to look at, shouldn't I? It'd be like, ooh, get it. I need to buy a cat. Um, <laughs> so that's it. We will see how it holds up. I'm going to leave it to settle and because uh, like I say, again, I've covered all of the excess wire here in glue and all sorts of stuff because it's just, it just needs to hold in one place. It just needs to stay there and not ping off. So hopefully we've done that and uh, I'm going to leave it and probably put some more glue on that just to make sure. Give it a nice old thing so nothing can unravel it and it'll just get in all the, all the gaps and all that. And um, I will tune this up, hopefully, uh, put the pickup back inside, tune it up and see what happens probably tomorrow or maybe even later. So again, thanks to everyone who offered help on that. And again, oh, and again I've just got a bit of cardboard under here uh, just to stop any glue dripping onto the guitar, which I did have a little bit of glue dripping on the guitar, but um, luckily I caught it before it got too bad. So there you go. Cheap, effective, zero tools really needed, a couple of dobs of super glue and um, a bottle of port really is the most expensive thing. I think it cost me about 10 quid uh, for a half price bottle of port. So, I mean, other gold wire is available. I'm sure some expensive red wines also and some sherries also have gold wire. So anyway, there'll be another video coming uh, in a couple of hours probably because I'm going to do some guitar playing and some waffling and some beer drinking, but I thought I'd do this one separately. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.